Hey there, everyone, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. Okay, so today I have a very serious, serious, serious topic that I have to discuss with you. And it's actually a topic that is not even discussed. And I don't know whether or not it's because no one's really encountered this situation, or perhaps it's because it's just so hideous that nobody wants to talk about it. But folks, this is so serious, and this can happen to any grower, especially the ones that are growing their orchids outdoors. So we have to be mindful of this, and we also have to know what to do to combat this issue. Okay, so we've talked about several different types of infestations in our orchids. We've talked about aphids, we've talked about slugs and snails, mealybugs, spider mites, etc., etc., so on and so forth. The only thing that we have not talked about, folks, are termites. That's right, I said it. Termites, believe it or not, termites can also infest your orchids. So what do we do and how do we combat such a hideous, hideous thing? Because now we're just not talking about our orchids here. We are going way beyond and we are talking about our home dwelling, the place that we live in. And we are talking about a homeowner's worst nightmare, having to deal with termites. As you guys know, the food source for termite is wood. And our structure for our homes is what? Is wood. So therefore, it can literally destroy our homes. And when this happened to me, folks, I have to tell you, I was extremely devastated. I was distraught. I did not know what to do. I mean, I contemplated whether or not I even wanted to collect orchids because if you weigh out the situation, having a place to live and collecting orchids, yeah, you do the math. I'd rather have a home to live in, right? So what I decided to do is do my research and indeed see if there was anything that I could do. And I want to share with you some of the things that I did find out about termites. Okay, so some of the important things to know about termites, of course, number one, they love wood. Number two, they love to live in moist environment. So therefore, when we're growing our orchids, especially for the ones that like to grow their orchids in sphagnum and also bark, um, yeah, voila, you just created the prime living dwelling and conditions for these termites. I actually like to grow my orchids in sphagnum and also bark. So the sphagnum, of course, creates the moisture and of course the bark is the food source. So indeed, they were very attracted to my orchids. So what are the things that termites cannot tolerate or do not like? Number one, they are soft-bodied creatures and they constantly need to stay moist. So if they dry out, even for a couple of minutes, they will die. They need moisture. Number two, they do not like the sun, of course, because it overheats them and it also allows them to dry. So sunlight is not a thing for termites. And number three, your ants. Believe it or not, are the number one enemy to termites. They are their natural predators and they will attack them and they will eat them. So here are some of the things that you can do to combat these termites and put an end to termites taking over your garden and your home. Okay, so as I stated, termites do not like ants. So what I did, folks, I literally wanted to put it to the test and see if they were the number one predators for termites. And I literally took the roots, or took the entire plant for that matter, out of the pots. And I took the plant and I found an ant mound and I literally just kind of bothered it a little bit, let the ants come out, and then I sat the orchid plant right onto the ant mound. And in a couple of minutes, those ants were all over those roots. And next thing you knew, you seen them literally taking each termite one by one into their ant mound. So it took a couple of minutes and they were gone completely. So yes, ants are indeed a form of combating these termites. 
And here's something else that can really be beneficial in combating these termites is to use see-through containers because of course this will indicate and inform you if there's anything going on underneath the surface to let you know and perhaps warn you in advance. And also with the see-through container this allows the sunlight to get in here and again termites cannot tolerate the sun. So this is a good way of combating termites. So another thing that I wanted to test out is different types of chemicals that can indeed affect these termites. Okay, so this is the hydrogen peroxide, and you guys all know this is a disinfectant. It also is good for mold and fungus, and it is known for killing insects as well. This right here is also known for killing insects and has a definite disinfectant as well, killing off mold and also fungus. Now this right here is an organic type of soap and as you guys know soap is also used to kill insects and in this fluid it has the soap detergent and of course some oil in here. I think it's sunflower oil. So it's all organic and this is supposed to be safe on plants so definitely we're going to get us some insects and we're going to see which one of these work guys. Now folks, there are the white insects in here and also some sphagnum, but if you look closely you'll see which ones are insects. And this one actually is that Listerine, the gold original one. And let me tell you folks, as soon as I put it in here, I would say in a matter of seconds they were no longer moving. I mean by the time I picked up the camera they were already dead. Okay, that's how powerful this is, this Listerine. Okay folks, and I got the same results with the organic soap. I mean, as soon as I put them in there, matter of seconds, they also were no longer moving at all. And now it's been about five minutes, and this is the peroxide, and it appears that they are still moving. So, to be honest with you folks, I think that they will drown first before they die of peroxide. Yeah, so, what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to go ahead and spray this down with the Listerine. That was the most fast-acting one there was, most powerful. So definitely, that's what I'm going to be using, folks. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode, this myth buster, to find out exactly which one of these work. And again, the peroxide was the weakest one took the longest and of course like I said they would have drowned first before they died of this peroxide. This was very very fast acting definitely worked and this was a number one. I mean it was almost as soon as I put it in this Listerine that they just stopped moving and died instantly. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another orchid adventure with me Maria Young where our mission is to provide you with useful information that will allow you to grow your orchids very happy and very healthy. And I thank you guys for watching and as you guys already know I love you all. Mwah. So today we have a very serious topic to talk about and oh my gosh, I mean especially when I have something serious to say, of course you're going to hear all of the crazy noises in the background. That's how it's planned. You guys already know, right? Thank you very much. Now, thank you very much. Those are the things that I have to deal with. Oh my gosh, now I'm light bright.